Here's quarterbacks coach Anthony Selfles. We preview the Demon quarterbacks for 2019. And a year ago, coach, you had Shelton Epler coming in. He was fighting for the job, and now he's kind of established himself as probably uh, the starting quarterback for this team. What have you seen him improve in probably from last year to this year? You know, I think his mental game has really taken uh, has really taken a step and, and taken it to the next level, to be honest with you. I mean, really, really seeing things on the run, uh, coming up with things in his head, ideas, things that he saw, and he would come back and he goes, hey, what do you think if we do this? And can I just tell him to do that? Or, or can we move him over to get this angle? And, you know, the questions and the things that he's seeing are spot on. And uh, his mental game has really, has really taken a jump. And it's exciting to watch because he put in that work this offseason, put it in the spring, put it in the summer. And he's realizing it. And that's what's, as a coach, it's fun to watch it from that standpoint. You guys brought in Bryce Rivers, someone you had a relationship with from coaching him at UTSA, uh, to kind of give Shelton a little bit of a challenge. How did he answer that challenge, and what has that done for his game? You know, I think the room, I think that room especially, is built on competition. Only one guy can play, and, and, and that's what makes it unique from any other position in football. And uh, I want competition breeds competition and excellence and and. and and, and the room comes together and they work not only against each other, but they work for each other as well. And you could see the way they do individual and the way those guys attack team. As soon as somebody comes off, the next guy's telling him what he saw. Hey, did you think about this? I saw this with your footwork. And Epler, you know, didn't blink, didn't blink at all. And uh, it was no secret why we're bringing more guys in here. We're, we're trying to get the best available guys to help this football team. And, uh, and that, whether you're a starter or not, it doesn't matter. And when Epler, you know, saw that and answered the challenge. It just, it, 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 the team saw it, the coaches saw it, and it was, it was fun to watch. What is his relationship, the relationship between he and Bryce done, and, and what does Bryce bring to this team? You know, him and Bryce are great. The, the, those four guys in that room really are great with each other, and they work well together, and it's probably the most important room uh, in a football team because those guys are talking to each other in between series and, and in between racks and practice and things like that. So their relationship is great. And then, uh, you know, Bryce coming in really understood the offense. This is probably, he didn't run the exact same offense at UTSA, but very similar. And, and coming in the way he works and his mentality and his work ethic and, and the things that we preach here, he knew coming here. And so he slid right in and, and didn't, didn't miss a beat. So all he had to do was just get acclimated to the, to the team, to the city. And uh, it's, been, it's been a smooth transition. We saw last year, unfortunately, injuries happen. Now Caleb Fletcher kind of in the same role he was last year, but with a couple more starts, a big win, and a 30 completion game under his belt, he's had to mature uh, quickly along with the rest of that room. It's, it's experience. You can't, you cannot replicate those game reps in practice, and what he did uh, last year against Houston Baptist in Central Arkansas, playing the whole game pretty much in both of those, uh, showed us that we can go out and win a ball game with him. Um, we didn't change up the offense very much. We kept it the same, and he went out and executed, and that was a credit to him just in how he worked uh, to get to this point. So when you get those game reps and you go back into a spring, a summer, and then now this fall, it really it really builds up some confidence in you. And you, you, you have something to look back on when you see a look or have to make a throw, man, I did that before and I did it in a game with live bullets. And you know, I think that's uh, I think that's important. And he's his game has jumped to a new level this summer and, and the first four days of fall camp. Finally, you had Zach Clement. He's got a chance to learn from three of those guys. I know you've been kind of impressed with his willingness to learn. He is. He, he's, he's very eager. Uh, smile on his face, comes to work every day, and that's just part of being a freshman is, is learning. And, and that's what, especially at that position, you have protections, you got formations, motions, counts, you got to make the reads. Everything falls on your lap. So all he, he's just going to, it's just going to take reps. It's just going to take some meeting time, some film time, and some reps. But the thing I love about this is we're bringing into a room that has three other guys that that do it the right way, that do it like pros do it. And, and that's what I like, the way they take notes, the way they ask questions, the way they look at film is uh, is something that's, that's a great example for Zach to look at. So when you put all those four together, and as a coach and you see that, all you got to do is set up the outline for them. Just give them that template, give them that outline to go out and practice, and they really take matters into their own hands, and it's, it's been great to watch. And so as a coach, it, it's fun to see the development. All right, thanks, Coach. Not a problem.